Hello, Paul here, and if you've done graphic design for any length of time, chances are you've probably made some graphs or charts, okay? So it's part of life, you've had to do it, especially with infographics really popular these days. I'd rather tie my graphics to data than for me to visually manipulate content. And what Illustrator CC, the 2015 release, allows you to do is separates the design from uh, the content or data, kind of like uh, CSS and HTML. So I'm gonna jump into the CC charts to Tool. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a chart. There's my chart with my three, uh, let's face it, boring characters right here. And I'd want to customize them and replace them with something specific that I'm working on. So I'm working on this project, this adventure project. I'm going to bring out this tree. Okay, now I want to actually uh, replace these three people with this tree. Okay, and typically you drag it on, but nothing really happens because what you need to do is you just need to embed it. Okay, so this is all going to be embedded into this chart. Just embed, drag it over there, boom, there it is. You can see what has happened. In fact, we don't even need that anymore. can position this where I want, but there's data tied to these items. So you can edit that content on Creative Cloud. Okay, so it embeds the chart in this library project, we'll see it open up in a, a browser, allowing me to edit the data or even giving that, uh, that capability to someone else, which is great. So here we are, we have our images, we can stretch to fit if we want to. In fact, probably what I want to do is do more of a free form. So I can kind of move these around at will, kind of put them all on a baseline like that. Let's see if I stretch to fit there, I can do that, but no, still not a fan of it. All right, so there are my three elements. Well, check this out. I can edit the data like I mentioned. So you can see them right in here, 1.5 uh, and 1.5. I can change that to 5, for instance, okay? And I can go back to my chart data. This guy's five times larger easily than uh, this, this one, for instance. Uh, actually, more like 10 times larger. Uh, I can go back into the data for this and come in here. Let's just go ahead and... insert a row and at this point I can have one maybe eight times larger hey why not okay and making sure that's applied actually let's select all these selecting apply okay everything is within the that blue rectangle uh, saving it in fact I can see them right over here in fact I can start to move them around but I'd rather go into this chart data and you can see I can move them around as well so this gives you or someone else control over the data so if I go back into data check this out import whatever data you want done and done you can save it it's saved to the creative cloud library I can go back into good old illustrator CC here it is and again I can drag out this chart here I could use it any time or any place any way I want uh, and you can see you have additional options as well there it is okay so those are charts in illustrator CC allowing the designer to focus on the design and uh, whoever wants to manage that data can manage that data. Thanks so much for watching.